Welcome to the Startup Grind. So I, I, in long tag, and, and you know, check things out. It seems like there are kind of two primary methods. You guys are, you guys are profitable also, right? So um, there are kind of two major methods that you guys, A, drive engagement, and, and B, drive revenue. One is through these connections of people, um, which, uh, again, you can, I'm the, we only have one mic, so I'll, I'm gonna say a lot here, and you can kind of answer all these things. But it seems primarily for singles, right? Like hooking up or dating or whatever. And then the other method is through is through the games which you guys internally develop. Um, so, so can you talk a little bit about um, you know in terms of you all's focus with with social discovery? Is it, do you find you know better interactivity and, and the core thing is that kind of connection between those people? Is it through the games and connecting through the games, or is it? So I'd say um, Tag today has three use cases. Um, we we, we uh, ultimately want to be the destination where we can meet people for any social reason. Um, today, in order of popularity, the, um, the number one use case is around dating and flirting. Um, the second most is around social games, but games are actually social, where you are playing the games in order to meet new people, and the game is really, really, really the medium for meeting new people. And the third use case is, is around shared interests, and meeting people that have, meeting like-minded people that share your hobbies and passions. Um, so I'd say um, you know, dating is probably by far the easiest use case because um, people are really motivated um, for dating, flirting, hooking up, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, and um, you know, um, when, when there's really a purpose in mind, like I want a girlfriend, or I want a roommate, or I want a running partner, and, and so on, you know, those are actually um, probably easier products to build because people are motivated to make this happen. But I actually believe that in the real world, those are a small minority of the connections that actually happen. And most of the connections that happen in the real world are actually passive. You, you don't wake up in the morning thinking, oh, I want to meet somebody today. But if you happen to sit next to someone at a bus or on a bus or you come to an event like this, you happen to run into someone, you would love to meet new like-minded people that, that, uh, that are that's your interest. But it's very passive. And so um, um, we don't think that that product for really kind of this <coughs> passive, serendipitous type meeting really exists on the web yet. And we have a little effort inside TAG to try to crack that nut. So um, I, you know, on that note, I want to ask you, so you, you've been working on these you know, dating type sites for, for a very, very long time, the social discovery, social meeting sites. Um, but you're, you're single, you're not married, right? You do? Oh, okay, dang it. Well, that blows up. Stand up. Yeah, stand up. <laughs> She refuses to admit that she's my girlfriend. <laughs> I just want to make sure you're actually using your product. You know, to, you know. Uh, founders, founders should you know should use their products. I just want to make sure that you're.